Okay, so Spotify has 300 plus songs with over a billion streams. Out of those, 27 of them are 20 years old or more. So I thought to myself, well, which songs are 30 years old? Meaning, what are the most culturally relevant timeless songs that 30 year mark to me is something that's that's a long time that's a really long time for a song to be relevant and i came up with a list of 16 of them and i'm going to read them off in order of the year that they came out number one is bohemian rhapsody which came out in 1975 as a matter of fact it has the most streams of any of these it's at 1.97 billion streams almost 2 billion streams on spotify number two hotel california 1976 it came out dream Fleetwood Mac came out in 1977. Well, I know why this one is on the list because of the TikTok thing with the guy drinking the ocean spray thing riding his skateboard. That's why that song is on this list. It's not the most popular song on Rumors. I mean, there's many more popular songs than Dreams on Rumors. Dreams is a great song. Don't Stop Me Now, Queen. Okay, there's two Queen songs right there. September, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Another one, Bites the Dust, Queen. Back in Black, ACDC. Okay, so now we're to 1980. So we've had five songs in the 70s. We've had a song in 75, 76, 77, two in 78, nothing in 79. Okay, so almost every year, starting in 1975, we have a billion play song. Then in 81, we have Don't Stop Believe in Journey. 82, Africa from Toto. 80. Two also is Billie Jean. And then the third 82 song is Under Pressure, David Bowie and Queen. A lot of Queen songs in here. Then we go to Every Breath You Take in 1983, The Police. 1985, so there's nothing in 84. 1985 is Take On Me by AHA. I just had them in a video the other day. 1986 is Living On A Prayer by Bon Jovi. 1990, so we have a big gap there between 86 and 1990. 1990, Thunderstruck, ACDC. I'm surprised by that, honestly, that that has a billion plays. I'm not surprised by Back in Black, but I'm surprised by Thunderstruck. That's amazing, really. That just shows you how popular ACDC is. And in 1991, Smells Like Teen Spirit has over a billion plays. Okay, so what are some takeaways from this? Well, what it takes to write a timeless hit song is hidden in this list. And it happens to be that you have to be the band Queen if you want to write a lot of timeless hits. Why does Queen have so many timeless hits? Well, I've made a video about this. Queen has retained its cultural relevancy for so long. It's really amazing. Right now, Queen has, I think, 40 million monthly listeners on Spotify. That is unbelievable. The Beatles have about 25 million. Well, you know who else has about 25 million is Nirvana. Nirvana hasn't put out a record since 1993. Queen is still out touring. Queen had a biopic that, that came out a few years ago, the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. Not surprising that that put them back into the spotlight. But they also are touring. But Nirvana's not touring. Nirvana actually has more monthly listeners than the Foo Fighters does. They have more monthly listeners than any of the grunge bands. Nirvana is a culturally relevant band today in 2022, and they haven't put out anything since 1993. There is no specific genre on this list, okay? We have rock songs like The Police. We have rock songs. Queen, or rock songs, Fleetwood Mac, rock songs, if you would call them, I guess the rock songs. You have R&B pop songs like Earth, Wind, and Fire. You have pop songs, Michael Jackson. You have hard rock songs, Journey, Bon Jovi. Those are hard rock songs. You have synth pop songs like Aha. You also have alternative rock songs. One of them on here, Smells Like Teen Spirit. So the list is really well distributed in all genres. The only thing that's missing here is rap. And the only reason that rap is missing is because rap isn't old enough. If you go to the 20 plus list of songs with over a billion plays, you start to have Eminem, Coolio, you have bands like Linkin Park in there. So it starts to become more diverse. There are rap songs in there that are 20 plus that have over a billion plays. To give you some perspective on the songs with the most plays, the most played song on Spotify is Ed Sheeran, Shape of You, which is at 3.2 billion plays. 
The second most played is The Weeknd with 3.1 billion plays. So the only songs over 3 billion plays. There's, a, there's I don't know, over 10 songs that have over 2 billion plays. Then we're down into the 1 billion plays. And like I said, Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, is almost at 2 billion plays. But that's the only song out of this list that's in the top 100 billion song plays on Spotify. And that tells you something about Bohemian Rhapsody and Queen. Queen is relevant today, as relevant, I would say, today as they were back in the 1970s, or almost as relevant. It's pretty amazing. So I found this list to be fascinating here about bands retaining their relevancy. I made a video about this about a year ago, and I talked about Jimi Hendrix, how he's lost cultural relevancy, and a lot of people from that era that don't allow, I'm, I don't mean to be a, to be a, you know, get into the blocking thing, but people that block their music from being talked about on platforms like YouTube will get forgotten at a certain point. I believe that. I may be wrong. I've been wrong plenty. But I really believe when people stop talking about you, they stop talking about you. And you just see this as these people, you know, the, these bands, you just look at how many monthly listeners they have. Because that tells you how actively people are going out there listening to music. One other thing to think about is why aren't there songs that are older than Bohemian Rhapsody that have a billion plays? Like Beatles songs or Rolling Stones songs. Is it because those people haven't adopted Spotify? Yes. Is it because maybe there's not all those people are living anymore? Yeah. I mean, the Beatles and the Stones, some of them are 80 years old. Paul's 80. Ringo's 80. You know, a lot of these bands, I was young listening to Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page is, what, 77 now? Robert Plant, 74, 75. There are people that are that are old, that are not even here, that, that to, or maybe they can't even hear. <laughs> just joking. I'm not joking, actually. Maybe they can't even hear it, or maybe they just don't know how to work Spotify and they're not listening to Spotify. So there is something to that. But maybe there are just not as many people that are engaged in music of that generation anymore into listening to it in that way. So something to think about. Love to know your thoughts. Leave them in the comments. If you're a first time viewer here, hit the subscribe button. If you watch regularly and haven't subscribed, do it. Thanks so much for watching.